Hey, my amazing community. Guess what? In today's video, I bring to you an exciting opportunity from Germany. This particular university is one of Germany's leading university and also teaching in science and engineering. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Nanash and on this channel, I share content of personal growth, personal development, scholarship and conference opportunities and other ways to elevate yourself. If you're interested in content like this, then please do not forget to be part of our wonderful community. Well, so this particular university, I have taken my time to conduct some research and I have found out a couple of courses you can apply or somebody from a third country can apply without paying an application fee. Without wasting much of your time, let's dive into it. By the way, we do have Telegram community and also WhatsApp channel where we share first-hand information and also allow you to ask any question you have about your study or your journey abroad. So let's get into it. We are already on the page and as you can see, this is how the interface looks like when you come onto this university's webpage. I will leave the link to this university in the comment section. So basically when you come here, in this video, we are going to look at three or four key things. One of the things we are going to look at is the courses that are available in this university. Secondly, we will look at the courses students from third countries can apply without paying an application fee. We will look at the eligibility criteria for you to apply either for a bachelor program or for a master's program in this university. And also, we will look at the application process. So, when you come to the university's webpage, the first thing you would like to do is to come here to where it says studies. Make sure to click on the studies and you are going to see this drop down. In this drop down, we are interested in international students. So definitely we are going to click here, which says international students. And our first focus is to know the degrees or the programs that are available in this university. Hence, we are going to click on this degree programs. When we click on these degree programs, we are going to see all the degree programs we have in this university. Look at it. We have aerospace, aerospace, PSC in aerospace. We have master's all, and we also have agriculture bioscience. We have architecture. We have biochemistry. We have bioeconomy, bioinformatics, and it continues. If you go to the next, it continues and it continues. But our main focus is for us to know those courses you can apply without paying a tuition fee and also an application fee. So we are going back to this particular menu, which says studies. We will click it and we are going to pick international students again. After picking international students again, we are going to click here, tuition fee for students from non-EU countries. That is where we are going to click. You will see something like this and make sure to scroll down here. And that is where you are going to see all the information regarding your tuition fee as an international student. And you will be able to identify some of the courses that you can apply without paying a tuition fee. So let's look at, this is aerospace. If you're interested in aerospace as an international student, you will have to pay a tuition fee of 3,000 euros per semester. That is not what we are interested in. Aside that, there are a couple of scholarships that you can apply to. But our main concern is to look at some of the courses we can apply without paying an application fee. So we will keep on to, we will go to the next course and then we click here like this. This course we are also paying, so we don't want it. We are going to the next one, which says architecture, architecture too, it is payable. We are going to pay tuition fee, biochemistry, biochemistry too, we are going to pay for degree program. So we keep going, we are going to click on bioeconomics. Bioeconomics too, we are going to pay, so that is not our interest. We, are, we have bioinformatics here. So this is one of our interests. All you have to do is to get a pen and a paper and write all the courses that you wouldn't pay an application fee or you wouldn't pay tuition fee down. Yeah, so we have bioinformatics, which is our first course for a degree program where you can apply. It says no tuition fee for international students from third countries are charged for this program. 
So all you have to do is to just pay either 85 to 100 euros administration fee, but you wouldn't pay any tuition fee for this program. So you write it down. We keep moving. So the next one we are going to pay, we are not interested. Let's go to the next one. The next one too is payable. We are not interested. So this is the next one, which is also payable. And this is the next one, which is chemical engineering. So chemical engineering too, if you are from a third country, you are not paying tuition fee for this program in this university. And we also have our third program, which is chemistry chemistry we are paying so we are not interested let's move to civil engineering civil engineering so we are paying so let's move to electric electrical engineering so we are paying we are not interested we have electronics and data engineering it's further states there no tuition fees for international students from third countries are charged for this program so we have two courses or three so you make sure to write them down then later you can go through all of them and then you pick one that you like. So we have food chemistry, food chemistry we are paying, food technology, food technology too we are paying. So that's how we are going to find the courses that we are not going to pay application fee. So we have geoscience, geoscience too, no application fee if you are from a third country. And also we have health science, health science too is payable, we have Informatics, informatics to you paying. We have uh informatics game engineering that one to say, and we have also we also have information engineering. Information engineering to what we are not paying tuition fee. So that is another program we can take note of it. We have another program which this program which is landscape planning. We are paying, we are paying for information. We are also paying for life science biology, so we are not interested. We are also paying for life science nutrition. We are also paying management and technology. We are not paying for it. So we have another course to jot down. That is how you are going to go and check through all the courses that are available and you think you wouldn't pay for tuition fee. Like this course too, teaching at academic secondary school course too, no tuition fee if you are from a third country. So that is how we are going to go by. So this is actually for degree. Now let's look at some of the master's programs you can apply without a tuition fee. So on the same page is the master's program on your left. So here we are. Here you see the degree, bachelor's degree. On here you see bachelor's degree program and here you see master's degree program. So we have found some of the courses for bachelor. Now let's look at some of the courses for masters that we are not paying application fee. So masters, aerospace, we are paying, but aerospace engineering, we are not paying if we are from a third country. Also, agricultural bioscience, we are paying. We are also paying for agro science. So therefore that is not our interest. So we keep doing that till we find the one we are not going to pay for. Then. If you are interested in if you are interested in master's program, then you can jot them down and then go over them later again and then see if you can apply. So bioinformatics too for masters, you are not paying. And then biology, let's see, biology, are we paying for bi biology too comes with a tuition fee? Um biomass, biomass to no tuition fee, biomass to the restitution fee. So that is how you are basically going to go until you get to the last course. So at the end of the day, all the courses you have gotten, you are going to write them down. So we have land management here, which you are also not paying for tuition fee. All that you are paying is administration fee or semester fee, which is less than 100 euros. So we have landscape architecture, that one you are paying. So there are a couple there are actually lots of courses here. And so you will just take your time and go through all of them and see the ones you are paying and the ones you are not paying. For instance, vocational education, structural engineering to no tuition fee for international students from third countries. Also vocational education, nutrition to no tuition. And this one too, vocational education, metal 
engineering to no tuition. So you are going to jot all of them down. After you've jotted all of them down and you've gone through and you are certain of the course you want to apply for, you would like to go back to these same studies. Make sure to click on these same studies. When you click on it, on the drop down, we are still interested in international students, so you are going to click on it, and then you come to the application and admission. Now that we know the courses we can apply without paying any tuition fee, let's look at the eligibility criteria and also how to apply. So we would like to go back to this particular page where it says studies. So when you click on the studies, you make sure to click on international students at the drop down menu. Then we are going to select application and approval. So once we have clicked on application and approval, we are going to see this particular page. So on this page, it further emphasizes and also explains who an international student is. Even if you are living in Germany and you acquired your higher education certificate outside Germany, then you are an international student. Let's look at the eligibility criteria in order to be admitted either for a bachelor's program or for a master's degree in this university. So first of all, once you are here, I would like you to scroll down and pay attention to this part which says all special features at a glance. Just click on it and you are going to see this information. This information is very important because it states that not every school living certificate entitles you to study in Germany. So you would like to find out whether you are entitled to apply for bachelor's program or not in Germany. So for the purpose of this video, we can check that through these two processes. But we can, but in this video, we are going to check that through this particular place. So here, you would like to translate it again. If your computer is on, on automatic translate, that will be perfect. So we are going to scroll down here and then we are going to answer a couple of questions to know whether we are eligible to apply for a program, a bachelor's program in this university or not. So here it is asking us of our country. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select Ghana. It is asking us of the testimony we have for the application. We are going to select higher school certificate for the purpose of this video again. And then what can we use as evidence? We are going to select school certificate. And here it says, have you already studied at university? No, because we are now going to be enrolled for a bachelor's program. So we will select no, and it will give us the summary of all that we need in order for us to be admitted into this particular university for a bachelor's program. So here it says that with your previous education, you have one general access to preparatory college, assessment examination for all university with free choice. So it means if you are from Ghana, you cannot apply directly for a bachelor's program in this school. What you need to do is to take a preparatory course. First, after completing the preparatory course, you are going to write an exam. After the exam, then you can use that to apply for a bachelor's degree in this university. Now let's go back and look and do same for masters. If you are also applying for masters, you, are, you would like to also do same to check whether you are eligible or not. So on the same page, you are going to click here, Everything at a glance, you're going to click here and then you are going to, it says that the qualification requirement for each master's program can be found here. So you would like to click here and check more on your qualification. Or you can equally click on this Anabin to see if your university, the university you completed in Ghana, if it is listed in this Anabin system with the level or with the years of your education, then you are safe to apply for master's degree in this university without needing any additional or preparatory course. So for master's program, definitely you should finish your bachelor's degree. And let's say you studied administration, then we can set, start our search to see whether you qualify or not. So here we have Ghana, we have administration and we have bachelor of science. So if 
you have earned a bachelor's degree in Ghana, you definitely qualify to be able to apply for master's degree in this university. So we are going back to this same system. And what we are going to do right now is to look at the application process. On the same page, you are going to click here, application for bachelor's degree first. So after when you click here, it will bring you to this page and you are going to see all the process, all step-by-step -step process in order for you to successfully submit an admission to this university. So this particular process, first of all, you have to prepare. And as part of the preparation is what we just did in order to check whether we are eligible or not and to look at some of the things we can do in order to be eligible to apply for bachelor's degree in this program. So it, it, there is another note here which further emphasizes on the certificate and the country you had your certificate. So if you are from a different country, you have to test it, you have to click here, and then you'll be able to enter all your qualification and check whether you do qualify to be directly enrolled in a bachelor's degree program or you need a preparatory course before you can apply. So the second step you are going to do is to, what? to just submit your application through the online portal and you are going to upload certain documents that are important and necessary for this application. So some of the documents you are going to be needing in order to complete your application is your university entrance qualification, which is your high school certificate. You also need a preliminary examination document if you are dealing with international university entrance qualification. So basically, for example, somebody from Ghana, when somebody from Ghana is applying to this university, First of all, you have to apply for this, and then you are going to use this to upload it on the system to show that you have, you have enrolled into a preparatory course. Also, you will need your school certificate and other documents like that. You also need proof of English language, and you also need your CV in the European format. You also need your passport or any other means of identification. If you are in the military too, you will need evidence of that to show. If you have enrolled in other internship programs too, you can equally add it if there is evidence or there is a document for you to show. You also need your motivation letter or your AC. Then you will submit your application. After successfully submitting your application, your online application will be received and then it will be checked critically then you are going to receive notice in few weeks after. Then you are going to take it from there. So basically that is for bachelor's degree. So on, still on the second process, you are going to apply through this system. Let's click here and see how do we submit the application for the bachelor's program. So definitely we need to translate because we don't understand. So what here we have, your submission for bachelor and master's courses basically it is the same and also if you are submitting application for preparatory college so for somebody from ghana your focus shouldn't be here your focus should be here because you do not qualify to submit an application to bachelor's program but rather you qualify to be enrolled on a preparatory course after that you use that certificate to be to enroll in a bachelor's program so now let's first of all look at the step-by-step -step process for the college, for the preparatory program. How do you apply for that? So you click here and you are going to see everything from the beginning to the end. So we are going to process one. So in the process one, this is what you are going to see. I like it because it's, it's a detailed explanation with images that will support you to be able to apply without any difficulty if only you watched this video till now. So you are going to start like this and then you follow the process to the second one, the second process, which is you are going to, so the second process is your course selection. That is when you select the courses you want. Remember, you have already taken note of the courses that you can apply without application fee and also without paying tuition fee. Those are the, some of the courses you can enter there. Then, so you should be able to apply and enter the courses and also 
you move to the next step where you enter your personal details. After entering your personal details, then you enter your address, that is where you stay, and also your permanent address. And then you continue to enter your university entrance qualification, which is your certificate that you are using to apply to this university. Then they need something like academic training. They said, please only fill this information if you have specified under two course selection that you have already studied at the university. So this one is not necessary for somebody who has already studied in the university. You only do that when necessary. So make sure to go through that before, before you make any mistake. Then you can add any other uh, information. If there, is, if there isn't, it's not compulsory. Then we move to the eighth step where you upload all the required documents, which include your language certificate, your uh, your high school certificate and also your passport and so forth and so on then you submit your application online so here you see one summary of your application you just go through and make sure everything is right once everything is right then you confirm and then click on send and you are good to go if there is any application or anything is missing and you later want to submit them, you can go back to your account and then you click on the complete missing documents and submit all your information that you need to submit. Then after doing this, what do you expect next? Once you have uploaded all your documents, your application sent to your documents will be checked and after successful examination, you will receive an invitation to the entrance examination by mail. So basically, this is how you are going to apply for the preparatory course. So when you enter into this exam, you write this exam. If you pass, then you can apply for the degree program or automatically it will be connected because you have already selected the courses that you want in the beginning, which is this part of your application. So now let's go back to look at how do we, to look at the process for us to completely submit an application if we are directly submitting application for bachelor's degree or for master's degree. So here we are going to click here and then um, we are going to click here, then we translate it, then we read the general notes that please note our general information on completing the online application. You can personal data after completing your registration, you cannot change it. You cannot change your personal data after completing your application. Incorrect entries will be corrected when we check your documents. Also upload your application documents online, like online after submitting the application online, you may no longer exchange uploaded documents. You do not have to submit paper documents until you receive approval. So everything is basically going to be what? Done online. So you first of all start, which is like 11 process, make sure to go into details of this process before beginning your application so that you wouldn't have any issue along the way. So the second step, same like the preparatory one, you select your courses, and the third step, you enter your personal details. And the fourth step says you enter your address. Then the fifth, you enter your university entrance qualification. So in this step, you give your highest general school living certificate. So if you are applying for bachelor, you enter your what? Your uh, high school certificate. If you are applying for bachelor and you have already finished your preparatory course, then you are going to enter the preparatory courses certificate. If you are applying for master's, then you are going to enter or you are going to use your bachelor's degree certificate here. Yes, so it's further stated here that if you have one international university entrance qualification, which is high school diploma, then choose I have acquired foreign university entrance qualification. So make sure to read this information well. You should note that your international diploma and your preparatory college represents a foreign university entrance qualification, even if the, these degrees were acquired in Germany. You cannot fill 
all the field for notes, leave them blank. The information will be checked and then supplemented as soon as documents are available. Yeah, so the next step is you enter your academic training for master's program. Yeah, for master's program, you enter your academic training and then you move to the next step where you will enter your master's access authorization. So this is not for you. This is not for uh, undergraduate students. It's for graduate students. And also there will be further information needed. You just have to go through if it concerns you. If it doesn't, you can leave it blank and move on. And then you upload your document and language certificate, which English is very important depending on the language you are going to study in. Then you will look at the summary of your application. You review your application and make sure that everything is right. Then you submit your, you confirm and then submit your application. Then you wait for the evaluation and then the release of results. Basically, this is all you have to do. And the deadline is in May, so you have enough time to prepare. So thank you very much for watching this video. And this is where we are ending today's video. If you have any question, don't forget to ask in the comment section. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye.